What you are looking at is an Ekrana plan, or ground effect vehicle, autonomously navigating to various preset waypoints on a map using the open source autopilot software known as ArduPilot. This is the story of how this project got here. I was watching a video by the YouTuber RC Test Flight about a long range autonomous boat drone, and it struck me as a great idea to do an Ekrana plan version. Everyone in the comments section seemed to be having the same thought. Rather than run with the idea myself, I reached out to RC Test Flight to see if he wanted to do a joint project. It turned out that custom code for Arduplane was already being worked on on his end for such a purpose, and this collaboration was born. I was also curious to see if custom code in Arduplane was necessary, or if Arduplane could be made to work well enough as is. So what is ground effect? Check out these pelicans flying at various heights above the water. You will notice the lower pelican, which is closer to the water, has a smaller, flattened out wingtip vortex, while the upper pelican, which is further from the water, has a much larger, stronger wingtip vortex. The stronger vortex increases drag and thus increases the energy required to fly. This is a characteristic of wingspan dominated ground effect. The other extreme is cord dominated ground effect, where a short stubby wing creates a ram effect and increases the lift more so than decreasing drag. Notable flights in ground effect include the Wright Brothers' first powered flight and the one and only flight of the Spruce Goose. Many concepts abound to utilize ground effect, and these are a few. Given the many considerations available, what went into choosing this as the final configuration? While the Airfish 8 is probably my favorite wing and ground effect craft, those wings are a real challenge to cut using a hot wire cutter, which is my primary tool for prototyping. I still wanted a cord dominated vehicle though, with some wing extensions for roll control. And of course we need a massive horizontal stabilizer to help us out as we move in and out of ground effect. Test vehicle number one was terrible, as the V-tail design had no longitudinal stability. Test vehicle two, with an additional central rudder, was almost as bad. Test vehicle number three tracked quite well, although it would need to be modified with a large elevator to compensate for large center of pressure changes as it moved in and out of ground effect, as well as winglets for roll control, also when it's out of ground effect. The design was working quite well now. This will be the first test of the powered winging ground effect uh, vehicle. Um, no steering, no ailerons, no rudder. So just a little bit of power and it'll probably just spin in circles, but let's give it a shot. For the most part, the plane did just go in circles, but every now and then you'd get in a good run, usually cut short by the only object in sight. I needed to try something else. So with the motors in the front, it understandably tracks quite a bit better, um, overcomes the, the resistance that you get on these pontoons here. So since I want this to be as autonomous as possible, uh, stable as possible by itself, um, I didn't want to put the motors on the front because of durability. They're more protected in the back, but probably just going to have to go with motors in the front. So. Um, I'll do a run here, a run or two, just to show you um, that it tracks a lot better. Um, and then probably going to size up after this. Uh, not a lot left to learn on this guy, I don't think. Now that the basic configuration was selected, it was time to get specific in XFLR5. After many iterations, this was the final design. XFLR5 is not great for modeling fuselages and other bodies, so I left off the pontoons and the fuselage. However, this allows you to get really, really close without all those features. XFLR5 also has an amazing feature where it allows you to calculate the difference between the aerodynamics in ground effect and out of ground effect so that you don't have any surprises as you move between the two elements, which is a big deal on wing and ground effect aircraft. Depending on the design, 
Ground effect vehicles can have dramatic changes in the center of pressure depending on height above the surface they are moving over. As you can see here, the vehicle essentially becomes instantaneously tail heavy as the nose rises, leading to a spectacular backflip. The first thing I really needed to figure out before diving into this build was pontoon shape and size. Using the amazing principles laid out in this book, I was able to make some pontoons that got me really close right from the beginning. At 10 pounds simulated weight, I was quite pleased with how the craft sat in the water. I did end up carving a little bit more off the back than the front to get the tail to sit a little bit deeper in the water and increase the angle of attack on the wing, but other than that, it was good right off the bat. So I was on the interwebs learning how to waterproof the electronics for this project and we will be using Corrosion X HD on the servos and on the battery and then on the ESCs and the autopilot I will be using a silicon conformal coating and that is the next step. Now that I knew what I was building, it was time to start building. Here's a little montage to get you through the next 30 seconds of your life. If you are interested in the general construction techniques of this airplane, check out this video linked on the upper right. After installing the electronics and posing for some glamour shots, there was really nothing left to do but fly this thing. You may remember me saying I would put the motors in the front, while clearly they ended up in the back of the craft. After much deliberation and taking the Airfish 8 and other examples into consideration, I decided to take a chance on the rear motors despite my experience with the free flight model. Thanks to the yaw dampening function in Arduplane, takeoff is a complete non-event. In unstabilized modes, the takeoff can sometimes go a little sideways though. What followed was a few mornings of testing before the wind would get going. I first played around with the center of gravity to find the most rearward position I could get away with out of ground effect as this would help the craft be as efficient as possible while in ground effect. I also needed to check out the stability modes for general flight characteristics and they were good enough for me without any adjustment in Arduplane. I found that with careful entry into ground effect and with fine throttle adjustment the Acranoplan would maintain its position in ground effect completely hands off.
Next, it was time to add an airspeed sensor for throttle control in auto modes. While testing one day, a kind stranger came out and read off airspeeds from telemetry in Mission Planner as I manually maintained ground effect with throttle. When I went back and looked at the log files later, indeed he had nailed it. Thank you, kind stranger. Finally, the last test was here. After securing a boat and a location for the test, a mission was planned on the computer with gentle turns to avoid a wing strike, which turned out not to be an issue. I found after a few test passes that the airspeed needed to be kept higher in autonomous modes than I had needed in stability mode to prevent an unintended landing. And then it was time. Ground effect was entered and I switched into a waypoint mission, set for one foot off the water. In my opinion, the mission was a total success. Partially. The Akrana plan never touched the water and spent about half its time in ground effect. It also never rose more than its wingspan of six feet above the water. And the big one, which was still having an intact craft to hand off to RC test flight to continue the project. I cannot wait to see a tighter altitude control implemented, among other things. To see where this project goes, head over to RC test flight's channel. As I bring the ground effect vehicle and this episode in for a landing, please consider subscribing if you think I earned it. It really helps. Also, I usually name all my projects, but couldn't come up with anything this time. Drop a suggestion in the comments below if you think of anything clever, and let's see if something sticks. Maybe RC Test Flight will roll with one of them.